Hey, welcome back everyone, Toishas here, and I am back yet again for yet another Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates video, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Super 7, we have a little bit of an early look at their latest wave of MMPR Ultimates, with today featuring the one and only Megazord, the Dino Megazord, and of course... It's a nice slipcase cover. You pull that up and you get to see the best Zord, the only cool Zord. Well, next to, of course, the Dragon Zord and a little Tiger Zord action. But you get the idea. You get to see everything inside the box. There's a coin in there. On the back side of the packaging, you get the usual MMPR Ultimates style, right? Yellows, greens, electricity. Nice photo of the original Megazord with a nice write-up bio talking about how it's the ultimate weapon of the Power Rangers. Such a cool, awesome robot. Man, oh man, was that exciting back in the day on Fox Kids. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new, straight from Super 7's MMPR Ultimates, the Megazord. And while I got all you more phenomenal people here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. Look at this big old robot thing. Anyways, once you get everything out of the packaging, it's a pretty darn cool figure. I'll save you some time. I know, I know. Super 7 pricing is not always ideal. But if you want a really cool rendition of the Megazord, look no further. So, he does come, or I should say, it comes with these little tiny Power Rangers. They're calling forth the Megazord. There's not a whole heck of a lot to these. They're meant to be teeny tiny, of course. But the Yellow Ranger, if you are interested, will fit right into the palm of your Super 7 MMPR Rangers. Along with Kimberly, who is... Equally as tiny, right? There's not a whole heck of a lot of difference. And if I'm being honest, I could have used just a little bit more paint on the helmet just to help better differentiate it from the rest of the body. You get a pair of extra hands. These are going to be the accessory slash weapon holding hands. And they have a nice reflective metallic paint to it. I definitely dig that. That's all you really need for the Megazord. Now, you do get this cool coin. That's part of the heft in the box. This is an overall heavy package, but it's a nice Dino Megazord Power Rangers coin. I definitely like that. It's definitely like the one from the Dragon Zord, at least the SDCC version. And then you have, of course, the Mastodon head, which is the shield for the Dino Megazord. And there's some really nice looking paint on this. And that is something I was really hoping to see for this new wave. Nothing loose in the joints and really nice paint. And so far, we are going strong. Now, it does come with the amazing power sword. God knows where that thing comes from. It just simply floats around the earth until the Megazord calls it down. But it's got a nice reflective silvery metallic paint with the yellow. And it's got the black handle. And they really did a great job. It's lovely to have a really nice looking power sword. That's cool. Compared to this Megazord... This is, and as you'll soon see later in the video, this is the best looking Megazord, not only in my collection, but just in general. This is a nice art piece. I know a lot of people are going to say, where's all the articulation, right? It's 55 bucks. Well, if you watch the show, this figure pretty much does everything and anything that the Megazord from the show does. All the paints, all the various parts and pieces, right? From Triceratops to Sabertooth Tiger, deadly pointed tips on there. Just be very careful with all of that. But I love all the details, and they've really painted the heck out of this thing. Every little nook and cranny has some sort of design element, has some paint, everything. Very show accurate, and for that I appreciate it. The shoulder pads, you got the arms, the forearms, all of it with the yellow stripes... You got the hands, of course. He comes with fisted hands attached already. Again, you will see minimal articulation, but that is what the Megazord entails. They haven't added a bunch of useless articulation to make it do a bunch of stuff. It doesn't do somersaults and karate kicks and everything else. The guy in the suit barely could move. <laughs> Just watch the show. But 
it equates to a very cool looking action figure. And I like that he has enough articulation in the head to give it that action figure feel, but then do what it usually does in the show. And I like that you get the arms going all the way up. So there's no problem with that. They can sort of pivot off out to the side, not really hindering with the big old yellow and red shoulder pads. He has a little bit of movement around the abdomen. It's not much. This part down here is a little bit of a rubbery diaper piece, quote unquote, but you get just a little bit of articulation out of the legs. He's not going to be doing the splits anytime soon, unless you want to try that out for yourself. I wouldn't recommend it. And then he has single jointed knees, and that's where I'll tell you. That's the only place where I'm going to tell you to heat this up just to be on the safe side. Mine were initially stuck, gave it a little hot water treatment, and I was able to move it. It doesn't really rock at the knee, but it does have a single jointed knee you can kind of get him in a walking position with a little bit of Sabertooth Tiger slash Triceratops rocker in the feet right so again it's not going to be crazy articulation but in posing this out on your shelf as to what the megazord does on the show yes they definitely achieve some greatness here now and just showing you with the hands attached with the weapons attached with the shield that is an epic looking megazord and just the attention to detail the paint is crisp all the way around. Maybe one or two slight blemishes. Nothing like we've seen before with Super 7, so I'm happy to say that. It just looks rad. Now, one thing I like that Super 7 has done is that you have the Power Rangers, you have the Megazord, and then you have the Evil Space Aliens. For the most part, yeah, the Power Rangers, the Evil Space Aliens, those will line up in terms of height. But then the other cool thing being is that the Megazord... Obviously, that's not going to fit with the Power Rangers, but that will then fit with the evil space aliens, and I like how they did that. It kind of features both, where it could fit with Rangers or the Zords, and that is the coolest aspect, because other companies who have recently tackled Power Rangers did not achieve that, with this, of course, then being the superior line of anything Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, to show you other Megazords in my collection, you can see now the differences between everything. And as these toys all come out, each one is new and exciting, right? Don't get me wrong. And I still love this old Bandai Collect and Connect figure, right? It looks pretty cool. But then nowadays you look at this new one, you go, okay, yeah, I start to see where they could have changed this or that. The one aspect of the newest Hasbro Megazord is that it comes apart in pieces and you can have the Zords individually. So it's like a Transformer. That's pretty cool. And then in looking at the MMPR Ultimates Megazord with the old school Bandai Evil Space Aliens, and then you have the Hasbro evil space aliens i would say that yes this megazord would definitely match up better with the old bandai versions and as i said previous i liked what hasbro was doing with power rangers but then when you see how integrated super 7 became with the overall look that you see on the original show it's night and day super 7 was definitely the superior choice so that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Super 7 MMPR Ultimates. I've always called it the Megazord. I know recently everything's Dino Megazord, blah, 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 but it'll always just be the Megazord, right? And I have to say, this is a welcomed improvement. I didn't have anything loose. The hands weren't falling out. The paint was great. So this is a home run. This is what I want to see from Super 7. And we will have a look at the rest of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers wave. So stay tuned for that. Fingers crossed. It's a home run across the board. But until then, you've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the Megazord, the Dino Megazord is the best. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.